Every NFL player has enjoyed his own memorable welcome to the NFL rookie moment. Hey, watch this. Hey. <laughs> Saw that uh, you were lined up against Max Crosby. Felt like it was one of those welcome to the NFL moments. It was. <laughs> it was, yeah. Around the midway point of every NFL season, we like to piece together a list of the 10 biggest welcome to the NFL rookie moments. Tyree Wilson gets lit up by Keenan Allen. Los Angeles Chargers wideout Keenan Allen may display good size for a wide receiver at 6'2 and 211 pounds, but he's not exactly known for being a devastating blocker. Being a wide receiver and all, Allen's job is to merely catch passes from quarterback Justin Herbert and to try to find the end zone. But in the Chargers' Week 4 home game against their AFC West rival Las Vegas Raiders, the Bolts called for their star receiver to block Raiders rookie defender Tyreek Wilson. Yes. Hey! <laughs> Keenan, man, that Wilson guy has a family. TJ Watt levels Zay Flowers. Pittsburgh Steelers superstar TJ Watt certainly isn't a dirty player by any means, but his mammoth and high sack and tackle for loss totals make him one of the game's most intimidating players. He's certainly one of the very last guys any rookie would want to encounter in open space. Well, Baltimore Ravens star wideout Zay Flowers had the misfortune of meeting none other than Mr. Watt in the open field when his club visited the Steelers at Acrisure Stadium in Week 6. Ravens QB Lamar Jackson tried hitting Flowers on a pass attempt late in the second quarter. Only problem? Watt was right there to break it up by punching flowers right in the face. Now, obviously, it wasn't intentional on Watt's end, but he was hit with an $11,473 fine for the accidental punch on flowers. Manual Forbes, meet A.J. Brown. The Washington Commanders used the number 16 selection on Mississippi State cornerback Emmanuel Forbes, hoping that he'd be the final piece needed to take this top 10 defense to an even higher level. Uh, but Forbes has been one of the most disappointing rookies of 2023 thus far. He has struggled mightily against the opposition's number one wideouts. Forbes was especially humiliated time and time again by Brown in the Commanders' Week 4 game against the Philadelphia Eagles. Forbes barked up the wrong tree by engaging in trash talk with Philly's number one receiver, and he finally paid the price. With less than two minutes to go in a tie game, Jalen Hurd spotted an open Brown in the end zone with Forbes in coverage. The veteran superstar made Forbes look every bit like a rookie on this play, all right. According to Pro Football Focus, Forbes allowed a ridiculous 197 yards and two touchdowns in coverage that day, a 34-31 Philadelphia victory in overtime. Remember, Mr. Forbes, don't trash talk unless you're actually gonna back it up. Paris Johnson Jr., this isn't how you block Boye Mafe. The Arizona Cardinals had a wealth of weaknesses entering the 2023 NFL Draft. They ultimately decided to trade down from the number three spot and selected Ohio State offensive tackle Paris Johnson Jr. at number six overall. Offensive linemen especially tend to endure plenty of growing pains as rookies, and Johnson Jr. certainly is no exception. That said, his true welcome to the NFL moments came courtesy of the Seattle Seahawks linebacker Boye Mafe in Week 7. The second-year product made easy work of Johnson Jr. to bring down Cardinals QB Josh Dobbs for a sack here. Hey Paris, we know you're a rookie, but you're not supposed to make it that easy for opposing defenders. Make sure to block if you want to last in this league, young man. Bryce Young lets his guard down. This one doesn't fall under the physically painful category. This didn't involve a hard hit or anything, but let me tell you, it is still a true welcome to the NFL rookie moment that Young certainly will never forget. The Carolina Panthers gave up a king's ransom to the Chicago Bears so they could move up to the first overall pick and select the Alabama quarterback. Young displayed a tremendous skill set to go along with a high football IQ, which he learned from the great Nick Saban. But, uh, well, all those years of games, practice, and film stuff briefly went out the window when Young made his second career NFL start against the New Orleans Saints in Week 2. Late in the fourth quarter of the Panthers' home opener, Young committed quite the brain fart by lighting up behind his guard instead of the center. Nice Young gets a shove from Sanders. He was lined up over the guard. I just wonder if Young is underestimating the speed. Hey, welcome to the NFL, rookie. Anton Harrison is no match for Chris Jones. 
Remember what we said about Paris Johnson Jr. and how rookie offensive linemen endure plenty of growing pains? Well, fellow rookie and offensive tackle Anton Harrison can tell you all about it too. Poor Mr. Harrison had the nearly impossible task of blocking the Kansas City Chiefs top two pass rushers in George Karlaftis and superstar Chris Jones during week two in Jacksonville. Harrison has actually been better than most rookie offensive linemen this year, but week two is certainly a day full of growing pains. Just check out this very play in the Jaguars home opener where Harrison got absolutely humiliated by Stone Cold Jones, leading to a sack on Trevor Lawrence. Per PFF, Harrison faced Jones 13 times that day and allowed two sacks to go along with one hurry. Worse yet, PFF had Harrison down for a gross 29.6 pass blocking grade that day. In other words, Harrison should have just stayed home. Almost like a welcome to the NFL type thing. Uh, just knowing your opponent, knowing how to stop it, stand in the film, uh, and just getting better every play, every down. On the bright side, Jones offered some nice praise for his principal week two opponents, stating that this kid is going to be good. Chris Jones victimizes Darnell Wright, too. All right, so if it makes Anton Harrison feel any better, he wasn't the only rookie offensive lineman that was quickly put in his place by Chris Jones. Wright, the number 10 selection of this year's draft, had the daunting task to try and keep Justin Fields upright with Jones patrolling KC's defensive line. Let's just say that Jones did typical Stone Cold Jones things, while Wright got himself a memorable welcome to the NFL message. We hope Wright wasn't too hard on himself here because the Bears haven't exactly pieced together much of an O-line for Justin Fields since his rookie 2021 season. And like we said, Chris Jones has been doing that to a lot of people for a while now. They move Chris Jones, put him on Darnell Wright, and that's just a tough matchup for any offensive lineman, let alone a rookie. Like Anton Harrison, Wright has actually been better than the vast majority of rookie offensive linemen. Just call it a tough lesson learned from Jones. Josh Allen's hospital pass to Dalton Kincaid. In rugby and American football, a hospital pass is a popular term used to describe a dangerous pass a player makes to a teammate who is immediately in harm's way. In short, a hospital pass is not something a quarterback should make. Take note of that, kids. Your teammates will be forever thankful. But Buffalo Bills quarterback Josh Allen seemingly forgot the memo about hospital passes when his team hosted the Las Vegas Raiders in their Week 2 home opener. Late in the second quarter of that game, Allen attempted a dangerous pass and double coverage to the end zone, and that allowed Raider safety Marcus Epps to come in and drill Kincaid with a clean hit. Fortunately, Kincaid avoided what could have been a very serious injury. He also got the last laugh with his Bills crushing the Raiders by a final score of 38-10. to Hopefully Allen remembers to never attempt something at dangerous ever again, because it was his pass that set up Kincaid's welcome to the NFL rookie moment. Andre Sisco crushes Anthony Richardson. Anthony Richardson, the number four selection of 2023, was named the Indianapolis Colts starting QP for week one against the Jaguars. Richardson dazzled with plenty of big plays in his NFL debut, but he unfortunately wasn't able to finish out the contest. That's because the Florida product got absolutely crushed by Jaguars safety Andre Sisco on a touchdown saving play near the goal line. With a minute left and his team down by 10, Richardson performed Houdini-like magic to escape the pocket. He then rushed to the end zone, but was stopped by Cisco, who delivered the ultimate bone-crushing hit. Richardson suffered a bruised knee, and backup Gardner Minshew II had to finish the game. Sadly, Richardson's promising rookie campaign ended after just four games, as he required season-ending shoulder surgery. He sure made a great first impression in his short-lived rookie season. Now let's just hope that Richardson can stay healthy and continue to dominate the way that he did in that brief sample size. Luke Musgrave gets smoked by Kareem Jackson. As far as welcome to the NFL rookie moments go, it doesn't get much worse than being on the wrong end of a crushing hit. Unfortunately, that was Luke Musgrave's welcome to the NFL moment in the Green Bay Packers Week 7 road game against the Denver Broncos. Immediately after catching a pass from Jordan Love for a first down in the fourth quarter, a defenseless Musgrave was smoked in the head and neck area by Broncos defensive back Kareem Jackson. Though Musgrave was able to get up after the hit, he suffered an ankle injury. Jackson, a repeat defender for hits on defenseless players, was immediately ejected. So kudos on Musgrave for not retaliating and managing to shrug off the big hit. Needless to say, he won't ever forget his welcome to the NFL rookie moment.
But what other 2023 Welcome to the NFL Rookie moments from the 2023 season should we have included on our list? Let us know in the comment section below. If you like this video and learned a thing or two, clicking the like button helps out a ton. And hey, we appreciate it. If this is your first time coming around to TPS though, subscribing is a great idea because we put out videos like this every single day. But as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.